The installation of the Floco plunger lift system when gas is at or near the critical flow rate is an economic and proven method to help ensure produced fluids continue to be removed by minimizing downtime and stabilizing flow. During this initial installation, Floco will install one of their Rage series or continuous flow bypass plungers. This will allow the well to flow while the plunger travels in the tubing string to remove fluid with minimal shut-in time. For a continuous flow plunger, surface equipment installation will include a lubricator, an auto catcher, an electronic controller, and an arrival sensor. The lubricator is installed on the wellhead and acts as the plunger receiver upon arrival. The cap of the lubricator can be removed to install or inspect the plunger. Inside the lubricator is an anvil, a shifting rod, a plunger spring, and a rod spring to cushion the force of the arriving plunger. The arrival sensor recognizes and records plunger arrivals, plunger speeds, and valve counts. The auto catcher replaces the manual catcher that is installed into the wall of the lubricator. This pneumatic catcher is engaged when the controller is in the on position and holds the bypass plunger in the lubricator until the controller closes the motor valve and drops the plunger. At the bottom of the tubing string, a heavy-duty bumper spring assembly is installed to absorb the force of the falling plunger. The Floco bypass plunger is designed for higher volume wells and requires little or no shut-in time. Typical production rates for continuous flow plunger applications are wells that can produce on average 300 plus MCF per day and fluid rates from 5 to 700 barrels per day, depending on tubing size. The bypass plunger can fall against flow at an average speed of 700 feet per minute or as fast as 3,500 feet per minute in a static state. As the plunger falls through fluid to the bottom of the tubing and impacts the bottom hole spring assembly, the bypass valve closes. The plunger now begins its ascent to the surface, unloading fluid it gathers above it. As the plunger reaches the surface and enters the lubricator, the shift rod moves the bypass valve to the open position and the plunger is ready for another cycle. After the sales time, the controller sends a signal to close the motor valve. Once the plunger begins its descent, the motor valve is opened and flow begins again. The bypass plunger can make several trips per day keeping the well unloaded and optimized to its full producing potential.